What is going on guys? My name is Mike and I'm back at it again with a third video. And in this video, I want to talk about a PIP. Or I should have said first, a performance improvement plan. So I want to talk about what is a performance improvement plan? What does it mean for your career? And then I'm going to talk about my experience with a performance improvement plan. So what is a PIP exactly? A PIP is a document laying out an employee's lack of performance and requirements needed for that employee to keep their job. So you'll also see in a PIP a time frame needed to address these areas of performance. This could be three, four weeks, 60 days, 90 days, it could be whatever. So what does getting a PIP mean for you? So I think the most important thing when you first get a PIP is understand it's time for you to get a new job or better worded, it's time for you to start looking for a new job. So from my experience, there's two reasons why a company could be piping, pipping you, giving you a pip. There's a whole assortment of terms you can use for it, but there's two main reasons. One is that they're actually giving you a chance to improve. They're saying, hey, we don't wanna let go of you, but we obviously need you to step your game up. I think this is the less likely case, but the second is they need an argument to fire you. It would look a lot worse if they just simply fired you out of the blue, gave you no warning, didn't give a documented description of what you were doing wrong. This is more likely the case. When you receive a PIP, you also have to sign it. So you have to show that you are in agreement with everything in this document, or at least you're in agreement that you need to improve in order to stay with the company. It's sort of a way of showing that on both parties, there was an agreement and there was no shady business going here. Or in other words, there's nothing that was surprising to the employee when it comes time to terminate the employment of said employee. But another thing to think about is your reputation at the company afterwards. How do you know who knows about your PIP? You can make a safe assumption that your managers know because they're probably the ones who gave, gave the PIP to you. They probably talked about it with other managers, other seniors at your company or your team. When it comes down to your reputation, that could be important when it comes down to being piped, pipped. You don't know who knows about the fact that you're PIP'd. You don't know if your employees look at you differently or could very well now have less respect or trust for you as an employee at your company. And to top it off, now you have to put in a lot more work, a lot more stress in order to just be viewed how you were originally at your company. The company expects you to really be at your top game, but for now they have suspicions. They're on to you, they're watching you. For me, and I think many others, that's a very uncomfortable position to be in. But I understand there are some people who really need jobs at their company, and maybe it might be time for them to put the pedal to the metal. But it's important you understand where you're at with your company. Now let's say you know exactly where your company is gonna take you with your PIP. Uh, you don't anticipate being at your job for that much longer. Well then what do you do? Well, I'll definitely tell you this, do not quit. If you quit, that almost removes all opportunity for you to receive any type of severance. Now let's talk about my experience with a PIP. So before receiving my PIP, I remember my senior manager getting on a call with me, uh, talking to me about some complaints he had with me. I remember specifically him telling me that I was offline at some hours. About a week or so later, I get on a call with my senior manager as well as the actual uh, technology manager of, my, of the company. And here it is, doomsday. I get the PIP right then and there. Now at this time, I actually didn't know what a PIP was. I can obviously make a guess what it is. I see performance improvement plan, but I didn't know the whole stigma regarding it. After seeing all the complaints, some of which I disagreed with, some I agreed with, I knew sort of time was coming up at this company. So my, at first my reason was, well now this is just awkward. My reputation is not gonna be the same at this company. I don't know how I'm looked at by my peers at the company. Um, and now I just have to work extra just to be regarded as equal as everyone else. But then I actually went and talked to my friends about it. And they actually told me about all the stigma regarding PIPs, how PIPs, it very well be, the company is looking for a reason to fire you. Again, I don't mean this is all cases, but there are many cases where this can be true. So this is when I simply started looking for more jobs and didn't really take the PIP too seriously and it made it a lot less nerving for me. Is that a word? It made the situation give me a lot less anxiety. 
Eventually, this PIP did lead to a termination of employment. You gotta say termination of employment. It's much fancier way than saying firing. So what was the point of this video? The point of this video is that if you ever get piped, know exactly the situation you're in. Know that there is a good chance that the company is looking for reasons to let you go, fire you, sorry, terminate your employment. And simply having that expectation can make the you leaving the company as well as finding a new job a lot cleaner and smoother. So thanks for watching guys. Let me know about any experiences you guys have with PIPs or if you think I'm dead wrong and that PIPs are not what I'm saying at all. Let me know in the comments below. Tell me everything. Until next time, I'm Mike. See you guys.